Yo, what's going on everybody? It's straight out of Boston here, and today we're back for episode number 40 of the Pittsburgh Pirates franchise series here on MLB 17, the show. So our National League Division Series opponent this year is the Chicago Cubs. This is finally the first time we faced off against them in the playoffs, and so far it's been an even series 2-2 two two is the series score right now. So we had the Game 5 in rainy Chicago from Wrigley Field. Now, I actually did play Game 4, but I decided not to make it into a video because, honestly, it was just a pathetic game on my party game. I easily should have won against Arietta. I was using Samarja, and I ended up giving up a couple of runs with the bullpen, actually, Rene Velasquez, and I think the 7th inning, and I just had so many base running mistakes, and I was not really into it. So I, it was an embarrassing uh, gameplay from me, I would say, and it was a loss. So I figured I would just show Game 5, and here we go as it is Pittsburgh and Chicago. Kyle Hendricks on the mound for the Cubs. He's making his first start of the postseason. Looks like he made a relief appearance at some point in this series, but interesting that the Cubs decided to start Arietta in Game 4 on three days rest. He was actually the Game 1 starter, but then you end up using their number 4 starter anyway in Hendricks. Uh, I don't really know why they did that. They should have just pitched Hendricks and then let uh, Arietta go on full rest in Game 5, I would think. But here we go after a Polanco walk. Turner beats that one out. It was a solid single up the middle, deflected by Hendricks, but they could not recover in time. Now Esposito, with two strikes on him, a little contact swing, pokes that into right center field. That's down for a base hit. One run will score, and the Pirates jumping out to an early 1-0 lead right here. As the runner does get up to third, now Thames up next with first and third, and still just one man out. This ball is ripped hard into right field for a base hit. That is going to get another run home. And it's back-to-back -back RBI singles for the Pirates here as they take a 2-0 lead in this top half of the first inning. Now Gary Sanchez, the next man up. And he is going to take that pitch for ball four. So the bases will be loaded for the next man up. And that is going to be Austin Meadows, the young right fielder for the Pittsburgh Pirates. And he rips one into right field. Another hard hit single for the Pirates. Two more runs are going to come across. And it's four to nothing Pittsburgh now. As Meadows capitalizing on the bases loaded situation. A big two RBI base hit. Now the next man up, Diego Vina. He strikes out on the changeup. A nice recovery pitch from Hendricks there. Big out number two. Now the pitcher do up next to Grom. And he is just going to flick this one out into center field. Very playable for the center fielder Ben Revere. And that will be good for the third out of the inning. But four runs come across for Pittsburgh in the top half of the first. And they give Jacob DeGrom a four-run lead. As we take a look at Mike Sosha's lineup here for the Chicago Cubs. That is Mike Sosha, who is the new manager of the Cubs. I don't know exactly when he took over for Joe Madden, but he has at some point in this franchise. And that Cubs lineup will be opposed by Jacob DeGrom, who's rocking a 1.42 ERA after a very solid start in game number one this series. And that was a victory for the Pirates in game one. He only gave up. The two runs in a six and a third. I think it was two runs. Might have been only one run, I guess, actually. This was one earned run. And there, Chris Bryant striking out on the fastball. So DeGrom, a clean first, did give up the one base runner. But still a 4 to nothing lead in the second inning now for Polanco. But take a look at the play by Addison Russell. And he throws out Polanco, who is not a slow runner. I think Polanco's speed is 77. So look at this play by Addison Russell, of course. Russell hasn't really put it together with the bat yet, but he is a very, very special defender out there at shortstop. And he shows off not only the range, but also the arm strength. 85 miles an hour to first base to gun Polanco by about a full step right there. A very impressive play. And then Turner striking out later in the inning. So Hendricks trying to settle in a bit here and at least eat up some innings for the Cubs. Does not want to put this entire game five on the bullpen. Meanwhile, David Peralta working a walk here off of DeGrom. And then after a base hit, there are two on with one out. It's Contreras. He flies one to center field. Marte will get to this one. A bit of a dangerous pitch there from DeGrom, leaving that fastball up. And Contreras almost got a hold of it, but fortunately it was a harmless fly out. And then the next man up is Hendricks. He strikes out on the slider, so DeGrom out of the jam. Still a 4 to nothing lead here for Pittsburgh at the end of two. Chicago with a couple of hits so far, but three men left on base. It's Ben Revere leading off the third, and he strikes out on the high fastball. So DeGrom working that fastball as a strikeout pitch here tonight. After a walk to Rizzo, it's back-to-back -back walks now to Rizzo and Schwarber. So the con command becoming a little bit of a problem here for DeGrom tonight, but still he had the strikeout pitch working. Strikes out Bryant for the second time. That makes it two down in the inning. Now Contreras... And it's going to be another strikeout on the high fastball. So, although the walk's a little bit of a problem for DeGrom, three already tonight. He has seven Ks through, uh, actually I think he has six Ks through three innings. And now it is Diego Vina blooping one towards right center. That gets down. Revere with a diving attempt. And this kind of throws off the right fielder. I guess I don't know why the right fielder wasn't just backing up Revere instead of going for the ball 
where it was going to land as well because Revere went for the full out dive, did not work out, but he should have had the backup. This was not a dumb play by Revere. This is a dumb play by Peralta. Peralta has to be behind Revere being able to uh, being ready to catch that on a hop. Later in the inning with Ravina on third with two outs, Polanco, solid single in the right field, another RBI base hit for a Pirates batter. That makes it 5 to nothing Pittsburgh now. Next batter, Turner. He's got a 3-0 count. He takes for ball four. So Hendricks, another walk. He is also having command problems. We saw Kershaw with command problems in the wild card game. And now it's Hendricks also with some command problems. Wade LeBlanc is going to come on and relieve him later in the inning with the bases loaded. Thames grounding that one to the third baseman. LeBlanc's cutter, although not very hard, he did get that just in enough to throw off Thames. Back to DeGrom, though, who strikes out Contreras for the second time on the high fastball. Seven strikeouts through four innings for DeGrom. Meadows up here in the top of the fifth. He takes that one to deep right field, and that is a no-doubt solo shot off of Wade LeBlanc. Meadows getting all of that one. Looks like a hanging changeup. Maybe a cutter. Maybe just a cutter that caught too much in the middle of the zone right there. And Meadows hooking that into right field. A 440-foot shot off of Wade LeBlanc, and that makes it 6 to nothing Pittsburgh. As Meadows for the second straight postseason coming through. Remember, he had the big walk-off home run in game number one of the World Series last year. And overall played decent in the postseason despite not having a great regular season as a rookie. Anyway, here in the fifth inning, it's Rizzo going oppo taco. That changeup just staying a little bit too up in the zone right there. I wanted that closer to the knees. It was more towards the belt. And Rizzo able to flick it over the left field wall right there. As he does not miss that pitch, it's a two-run shot. And the Cubs now on the board. That makes it a 6-2 ball game. So not yet a huge threat from Chicago. But DeGrom now maybe getting a little bit tired here. Facing the order for the third time. And it is Schwarber striking out on that changeup. Not being afraid to go back to that changeup. And also sort of left that one up in the zone. But Schwarber not able to handle that. Bryant strikes out for the third time today on the high fastball. Early on it was pretty apparent. He just could not catch up to DeGrom's fastball up and in. So I kept pounding that with him. But here is Fernando Rodriguez. If you guys have been longtime followers of the series, you know this guy just murders me out of the Cubs bullpen every time, and he's still on this Cubs team, and he just throws that 97 with that funky little windup, and uh, he always throws me off. But there in the sixth, it's a 6-4-3 double play to end off the inning for DeGrom. So on to this uh, top half of the seventh we go. Socha out to make a double switch here. It's going to be Michael Tonkin out of the bullpen. I believe this guy used to pitch for the Twins. And I'm not sure if he is in the minor leagues now or what he does. But anyway, he was throwing pretty good gas. He sort of has a funky windup, but he was not missing bats. I will tell you that much. Thames almost hits a home run off him from right there. That was at the top of the wall in one of the deepest part of the ballparks. Instead, it's a double with uh, no one out in the inning. So that's a leadoff double for Thames. Next man is Gary Sanchez. You see him looking for that high fastball. That time he throws it low, but I'm able to adjust. That's in the left field for a base hit. That's going to score Thames easily. And it's an RBI base knock for Gary Sanchez, who makes it 7-2 Pittsburgh. Now the next man up, Austin Meadows. He already has one big hit today. This time he's going to give this a ride to right field. That is deep, and that gets over the right fielder's head there. And one hops up off the wall. Sanchez will be held at third, but it's a double for Meadows. And that is three straight loud hits here for the Pirates. You see I give Sanchez the stop sign at the last minute. But uh, now the next man up is Robert Woodson. So I'm pinch hitting for DeGrom. This is actually two batters later because Vino would walk. So I pinch it for DeGrom, which means DeGrom's day is done. Woodson actually gets jammed right there and is only able to flick that to the third baseman, Bryant. Finally, they take Tonkin out after giving up three loud hits and then a walk and then forcing a line out, I guess, even though that was a good pitch to Woodson. So anyway, Hector Rondon is on, and then Marte flicks that one down the right field line. That's going to score two more runs. That makes it 9-2 Pittsburgh. Marte diving into second base with a two-RBI double as we have blown this game open. Now it's a seven-run lead for the Pirates. Polanco up with one man down. Still, he strikes out. Good biting slider from Rondon, getting that one in on Polanco. Looks like a fastball at first, and then Turner gets jammed here. Still pokes it at the center field, but Revere a nice running grab for the third out. But we do push across three more insurance runs as we push the lead to 9-2. to two. Now, Rene Velasquez on out of the bullpen. He will be the first man to relieve DeGrom here tonight. And he would get a 1-2-3 bottom half of the seventh here as Ben Revere pops out for the third out onto the eighth with the leadoff man Rizzo up. He actually gets hit here on a fastball that runs up and in. Rizzo does get hit a lot in a real life. Two batters later with two on, it's Bryant. And he strikes out for the fourth time here tonight on the high fastball. He couldn't catch up to DeGrom's fastball and didn't seem to stand a chance against Velasquez's either right there. 
So that's good for the first out of the inning. Now I'm going to turn to Osuna, who was a little bit more rested than Velasquez was, and I knew I wanted to use some combination of them to get the final nine outs. So I went to Osuna for five outs as opposed to four from Velasquez. And you see uh, Polanco made a nice shoestring catch there in left field. Second straight episode where he's made a nice catch in left. And then a nice backdoor two-seam where I get the favorable call from the umpire for strike three on the pinch hitter as Jubal Cabrera to end off the eighth. Javi Baez strikes out to lead off the ninth. Now with one on and two down, Revere striking out of the changeup, and the Pittsburgh Pirates eliminate the Chicago Cubs. They are moving on to the NLCS for, I think, I think we've made the NLCS every season in this franchise. I don't remember ever losing the division series. So that's four straight years now that we've made the National League Championship Series. And we just did not lose in those five-game series, I guess, in the Cubs. Uh, this was kind of a long-awaited playoff matchup. We had a chance to play them last year. We would have played them had they won the wild card round, but they actually lost that game to the Giants. So we played the Giants in the division series last year, and I think defeated them in four games, three or four. I guess it was three games, actually. Three or four games, I don't quite remember. But now we finally face the Cubs this year after losing to them in game 163. We do get our revenge with a big game five victory in Chicago. Austin Meadows with the home run. He had three RBI, two runs, three hits. And big performance all around from a lot of bats in our lineup today. So that is going to do it. We're moving on to the championship series. I will not reveal who it is going to be against, but I will say it will be against a familiar foe. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you did enjoy. And those I'm out. Peace.